Welcome to my video. In this video, I show you how to install Cacti step by step. Cacti is a complete network graphing solution designed to harness the power of Rtool's data storage and graphing functionality. Cacti provides a fast polar, advanced graph templating, multiple data acquisition methods, and user management features out of the box. All of this is wrapped in an intuitive, easy to use interface that makes sense for LAN sized installations up to complex networks with thousands of devices. This is the introduction on the official Cacti website. The installation process includes the following steps. Step 1, Install VirtualBox Virtual Machine Software. The link to download the software is in the description of this video. Step 2, Download the Ubuntu Server Operating System Installer. Download link is in the description of this video. Click New button to open a dialog. Type a name for the new virtual machine. Click the Type drop-down box, then click Linux in the resulting drop-down menu. Click Ubuntu 64-bit before proceeding. Select an amount of RAM to use. Click Next. It's at the bottom of the menu. Click Create. Select the virtual machine name on the left side of VirtualBox, then click Settings. The default networking mode in VirtualBox is NAT, change it to Bridged. Click on Storage Category and then Empty under Controller IDE. Click CD DVD icon on right hand side and select the Ubuntu ISO file to mount. Click Start. This option is at the bottom of the menu. Ubuntu will begin running. Also make sure the virtualization technology has been enabled in your computer's BIOS. Using the arrow keys on your keyboard, select the language you wish to use for the installation, and hit enter on your keyboard. Choose continue without update. The next step is to configure networking. Your networking devices will automatically be selected. Using your arrow keys, Select the network adapter to be configured and hit enter. You should set static address for your Ubuntu server. Select IPv4 and then, when prompted, use your arrow keys to highlight the IPv4 method and hit enter. From the pop-up, select manual. You configure the IP address to suit your network. After configuring the static IP address, tab down to save and hit enter on your keyboard. Tab down to done and hit enter on your keyboard. You now have to select the storage configuration. Chances are good you can stick with the default. Tab down to continue and hit enter on your keyboard. In the resulting screen, you are asked to create a new user and a name for the server. Fill out the necessary details for the new user and the server's host name, tab down to done, and hit enter on your keyboard. Tap the spacebar on your keyboard, tab down to done, and hit enter on your keyboard. Tab down to done, and hit enter on your keyboard. At this point the installation will complete and you'll be prompted to reboot to finish up. Install Cacti.
connecting to Ubuntu server using SSH. Update the repository index using the apt command. First, install the Apache web server. Additionally, install a few PHP modules for the proper functioning of Cacti. Install the MariaDB. Also, install the SNMP and RR tool to monitor the devices. All of this is wrapped in an intuitive, easy to use interface that makes sense for land sized installations up to complex networks with thousands of devices. Cacti recommend changing the MariaDB server settings for better performance. So, edit the configuration file. Add and update the below settings in the MYSQLD section of the file. Restart the MariaDB service post the configuration change. We need to set the time zone, memory limit, and execution time in the PHP configuration file for the Cacti installation. So, Edit the php.ini file depending on your PHP version. Update your time zone, as shown below. Create database. Log into the database server. Now, create a database for the Cacti installation. Create a database user and grant permission to the newly created database.
Download the latest version of the cacti using the ugit command. Extract the cacti archive using the tar command and move the extracted files to op directory. Import the default cacti database data to the newly created cacti database. Edit the cacti configuration file to specify the database type, database name, host name, user, and password information. Make the changes accordingly. Create a cron tab file to schedule the polling job. Add the following scheduler entry in the cron tab so that cacti can poll every 5 minutes. Create a new site for the cacti tool. Use the following configuration. You will find the download link in the description of the video. Enable the created site. Restart Apache services. Create a log file for Cacti and allow the Apache user to write a data onto Cacti directory. Log in the with a username and password of admin. In order to monitor a network device via the SNMP protocol, hit on the Create menu and select New Device. I will add some devices to the monitoring system.
The next thing is to wait for the results. And here is the result after 8 hours of waiting. You will get a lot of monitoring information, for example, CPU, memory, storage, bandwidth, etc. The information is displayed on the chart at different time intervals, very easy to see. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.